This is James Oda for Eiffel TV in association with Maximus Jim Obama. The press conference today for Fudor Chudden of beef Frank Bullioni um, for his WBA Super Middleweight crown. With me I've got uh, the WBA NB, NWBA. Is that right? NABA. NABA. Get there in the end. It's a good <laughs> belt. It is a good belt. Uh, Mr. Spike O'Sullivan, how are you, sir? Very good, James. You? I'm very well. I'm very well. What did you make of the press conference today? Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. I think it um, went well for our side, you know. Uh, Vlad was asked a few questions, uh, who's um, Chudinov's promoter, and he couldn't answer them. You know, I think they're um, panicking. Mm. Uh, Chudinov pulled out of the first fight, and the second camp, he decided he needed to get Roy Jones in. I think uh, they're worried they need to get someone in and change things up. I think Vlad, I think you riled Vlad a little bit towards the end. He was sort of finger pointing at you in quite a stern way, so I don't think he. A, I think he was trying to joke that he didn't understand what you were saying, but B, he, 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 I think he understood perfectly and didn't like the question. Definitely, yeah. I think he didn't like that joke about him. Um, he couldn't get a, hem a helmet to fit him in the amateurs. <laughs> no, he wasn't best pleased about that. No. He wasn't best pleased. He wasn't best pleased. I like him, though. Nah. Uh, he's dry. You've got to learn how to take him. I, I said, I, thought you, I think he's quite funny, but I said, I'm not, I'm not in the opposite corner against him yeah. and his team. He's I'm sure he's mate. fine. I see he's probably... No, he's good, but you know, he's in the opposite corner, right, as you yeah. said, you know, so... Uh, the game, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. What's happening with you then, Spike? What's going on? I'm going to defend my title on um, 10th of October in Boston, mm. uh, on an Al Heyman card, promoted by, co-promoted by my Murphy's Boxing, um, so... So you're a Heyman fighter now, is that what you're telling me? No, I'm not a Heyman fighter, I'm a Murphy's Boxer. <laughs> Fighter, so. yeah, I'm only winding you up, Spike, you know what I mean? Yeah, so I you've, know, you've, you've, you've gone through most of the sparring with Frank Bolliani for this. How has he looked in camp? I mean, I know you're going to tell me he's looked great, but honestly, what Honestly, I would, you, what do you honestly think? I'd never lie to you, James. Never lie. You know, honestly, what I do think, I'm going down right now to the bookmakers, putting a bet on Frank. Yeah. I'm going to do him to win, and I'm going to do him to, for a knockout as well. I think Seven he, to two for the win. Yeah. That's massive, isn't it? Fantastic. Fantastic. Loving yeah. it. Loving yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, yeah. someone's told me he's like uh, 50 to one. To win in by knockout in the like six seven eight round, wow. you know, and that that's a good omen for us because um, when I fought Anthony Fitzgerald, I put a bet on, on myself to win by knockout, and it was also fifty to one. Um, I won't keep saying it because I don't know if you're allowed to do that, but we won't we won't mention it. Okay, my uh, <laughs> my mum my mum put a land for me. My that's mom, right, oh, that's I, right. Yeah, yeah, I got my mum put a land, and uh, it's fifty to one, so it's a good omen. Fifty to one, I like them odds. I'm going to put a bet on him for uh, the knockout in them rounds and mm. definitely put a bet on him just to win the fight. Mm. What do you think of Fedor Chudinov as a fighter? He's beat Felix Sturm to win this belt out in Germany. A real world champion, a real fighting man. What do you think of Fedor Chudinov as a fighter? I think he's a good fighter. Uh, he's strong, he looks strong, he's a good fighter, you know, but um, he's world champion. You know, he's, he has to be a good fighter, but I think he got Felix Sturm at the right time. Felix Sturm, I think, was, you know, a very good fighter in his time, but I think he was just gone beyond it by then. Mm -hmm. And he moved up to super middleweight, and he was an only natural middleweight anyway. And I think you know a couple of his fights at middleweight were, you know, against uh, Martin Murray, and you know I think he lost them fights, but didn't lose, didn't get the decision, or he got the decision in Germany. And I think uh, Fedor Juranov was brought in to lose, but he beat Felix Storm because Felix Storm was shot but anyway. Fight as well to be to be a world champion. At yeah, fight. it was a great achievement for uh, Juranov. In fairness to him, though, you know credit to him for that, but. Uh, mm -hmm. I think all the fighters he fought previously to that weren't, you know, the greatest, which you respect to them, and, uh, you know, but I, I think uh, Frank's going to beat him. So you, you're predicting a Frank Bulliardi knockout yeah. win, eighth round? Seventh. Seventh. Yeah. All right. You heard it here first, Spike O'Sullivan. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. We'll catch you again real soon. Thanks, James. Appreciate it.